Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th. Okay, we all know the timing is fluid, right? Well, some do, some don't. These readings could resonate today, tomorrow, next week, whatever. These readings are timeless. I'm just pulling in a message. Could be for you, may or may not be, okay? So let's just see what comes up. I will be working on the rest of the uh, weeklies for next week. I got like six of them left to do. Unfortunately, uh, the issue took all day today um, because we, we ran into a little bit more issues than we thought, but whatever. It got fixed and I got all kinds of things put up. So I got this handyman who's pretty handy. So anyhow, um, yeah, so what do we have for a message today? Strength reversed. Nine of swords reversed. No, my deck is not reversed. Whatever happens, happens, right? Actually, Nine of Swords in reverse can be better. But, ah, King of Pentacles reversed. I'm just going to get some cards this time. Ah, King of Wands. Oh, my God, they're all reversed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being a smartass. We may have a smartass in the house. Anyhow, two of pentacles. I got myself a black and blue. Anyhow, two of pentacles. This is a card of balance. Needing to adapt. Needing to be flexible. Somebody needs to be flexible. Um, yeah, it feels like so, there's some sort of change This is that is needed. This is somebody that is trying to do too much. They may need to... Uh, let go of something to bring balance to their lives. Anyhow, somebody is having a hard time right now with the strength reverse. They're having a hard time restraining themselves. Um, they may be in their feelings, okay? They may not be, be very grounded right now. Um, there's a lot of fear here with the Nine of Swords, but it, cause that could be extreme fear, extreme anxiety. Somebody may, and next to that strength card reversed, I have to tell you, this is a lot of fear. We got somebody here that is extremely fearful, very, very fearful. They may be fearful of losing uh, money, okay, or losing some sort of something financial with the King of Pentacles reverse, or they may not have enough. I mean, this is somebody that has a lot of responsibilities or something that is juggling life. This is somebody that has a lot of things on their plate right now. I do believe that we have somebody here that needs to probably um, open themselves up a little bit. We have somebody that is very much focused on their work. They're focused on their work, they're focused on their money, they're focused on their business. They're not really open and they're fearful. They're fearful. Maybe they bury themselves in their work or whatever. This is somebody that is probably a boss or a business owner or somebody that is in a position of authority that just is like, you know what? This is unreasonable. This is somebody that is unreasonable, maybe even self-centered. I'm just being honest. We have somebody here that is very worried about biting off more than they can chew. They have a lot going on right now. Um, but they're having a hard time restraining themselves with the strength card reversed. They could also be having a hard time mastering their emotions. They're definitely thinking a lot, a lot, 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 but they're worried. They're, well, they're thinking and they're worried and I feel like they're extremely worried, but they need to let go of their fears. Um, it feels like they're fearful of, of, of financial loss or something like that. Or they could even be fearful of commitment. Um, King of Wands next to the King of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody, I feel like we have somebody that is definitely uh, in a position of authority, like a boss or um, a manager or a business owner or somebody like that. This is an older person typically that um, has built something up, doesn't want to give it away, you know, doesn't want to lose it, doesn't want to lose something. 
Now the King of Wands in reverse is unreasonable. And so isn't the King of Pentacles in reverse. So we definitely have somebody that's not being practical. They're not being practical. They're not being reasonable. It could be extremely fearful. This is extremes and these are fearful, 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 fearful. So we definitely have somebody, and this can be fearful too. So we definitely have somebody that is extremely fearful. I don't know what they're fearful of though. What are they fearful of? Three of Pentacles, getting together, working together. Now this is a card of teamwork. It's a card of um, giving respect, fearful of maybe um, showing somebody something, showing them what they have to offer. Somebody is, is fearful of getting, this is, a, this is getting together, working together. Something to do with money as well. I really feel like it does have something to do with money. Losing money. I feel like somebody is fearful of losing money. But that would be ego. Because both of these words, words, both of these kings in reversed are egotistical. So, And it could be just one person taking on both energies. This is somebody that may be egotistical, is very worried about their money. You know, and therefore, you know, there's, they're stressed out. They're, they're worried. They probably have some sort of attraction here. Um, because strength is definitely a card of attraction here. And they probably are having a hard time restraining themselves. But they are restraining themselves right now. And it's, but it's really, something is haunting them. So somebody is being haunted. Money is definitely an issue here. It's like, oh, I want the, I want, I want, I want the money or something like that. Um, the, now that is about communication. It is about communication, working together. Somebody is fearful of working together with another person. Page of sword. Very curious, though. So we have a very curious individual here. They want to work together. They do. They want to get together. They want to work together. But it's interesting because this person has tarot cards in their hand. So somebody is definitely, definitely curious. They're thinking about it right now, but they may be, they may be doing research, you know, or, uh, you know, they're caught off guard. Somebody is caught off guard by an opportunity of some sort. Caught, maybe it's an attraction. Um, nine of pentacles. This is about money. It's about stability. We have somebody here that is, is they may be fearful of commitment, fearful of giving up their independence. You know, some this is about independence, about money, it's about abundance. Somebody is is very, very fearful of working with somebody or getting together with somebody. They are curious, but there's some sort of independence issues or commitment issues or money issues. I don't want to. I don't want to share my money. I don't want to give my money away. You know that kind of thing. Or I don't want to lose my money. Um, but the nine of pentacles reversed is, you know, it could be giving up independence. I think I already said that somebody may be fearful of giving up their independence, insecure. There's a need for discipline here. And there is a, definitely a lack of discipline. Somebody is having a hard time right now. They may be in their ego. You know, there could be an opportunity here to work together with somebody. There's a lot of, uh, curiosity, probably attraction, but. Um, there's some sort of insecurity here. Fear. It's fear. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, somebody needs to take action. They need to, they need to take action. They need to find a way. They need to find a way within themselves to face their fears. Emperor! Ooh. Ooh. So... This is definitely a person that is in a position of authority. This is, it is. This is a business owner or a boss or a manager or somebody that could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn. Uh, doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, um, is in the process of making a decision right now. This is a decision maker. Sitting in the hot seat. Okay, this is somebody that is very focused, very masculine, that uses their head, not their heart. 
okay? This is somebody that is a provider, that shows no weakness, that is all about order and organization, that has a tough exterior. This is somebody that is wise, that has a lot of life experience. This is a business person, you know? Somebody that is very uh, smart, okay? Um, this person um, is a master at whatever they do. And right now, they are, it feels like they're in the process of making a decision. Somebody, and right now they're having a very, they're very worried, very, very worried about, I think it's their financial gain or something like that. They're very curious. They're watching. They're interested. Because um, this is curious. And fearful. This, this is fearful. This one isn't fearful. But this is fearful. This is fearful. This is fearful. So somebody is fearful of communicating. You know, they want to work. They want to get together. They want to work together. There's opportunity for teamwork. There's an opportunity to build something together because this is like building something to do things, you know, to work. There is an opportunity to work together. But there's some sort of mild conflict here, and it could be ego. It could be, I just got to be honest with you, or fear. It's either ego or fear or both. Anyway, this person is definitely making a decision right now. And they're having a hard time, you know, using their heart, following their heart. This person needs to follow their heart, but they haven't been able to follow their heart because of the position that they're in. So this is somebody that is in a very... Uh, in a leadership position, you know, and they're trying to make a very wise decision. And it does have to do with independence. It has to do with abundance. It has to do with money. It has to do with what everybody else is going to say. You know, so this is a this is a big decision. It is definitely a big decision. So a decision is being made. We also have somebody here that knows that they have to take action right now. I feel like this person knows that they have to take action right now. Because this is a golden opportunity. It is a golden opportunity to work with somebody that is very skilled at whatever they do. King of Cups, follow the heart. This is somebody that does, you know, their heart is, is poking them. I feel like their, their heart is poking them. You know, their heart is saying to them, follow your heart, go for it. This is an opportunity for love. It's an opportunity. You know, it's a big opportunity for love. So I do believe we have a masculine energy. And I do feel like it's masculine. I know all you women out there want to, you know, put yourself in that position. But I'm telling you right now, this is a masculine energy. And you oh, well, yes, I have masculine inside of me. I got it. I get it. This is a man, okay? This is a man. Anyhow, okay? So we have a man that is in the process of making a decision right now. Man, not woman, man. We have a man that is in the process of making a decision right now. This is a head over heart decision. This man wants to follow his heart, but he's always been very protective. You know, he's probably been protecting his heart. Um, so right now, I feel like his heart is, is really, really caught. This is like man holding heart, okay? He's, he's been withholding his heart, and, and he's, he's thinking about giving it away. Thinking about it, okay? Um, he may, may be worried about his independence. He may be worried about giving up his independence or worried about how it's going to affect his business or his job or his position or something like that. Anyhow, there is a decision that is being made, and it does involve the heart. And this person is very curious. I do believe that they are going to uh, be communicating. I do see communication here. This person may get some sort of uh, intuitive nudge to follow their heart. Uh, right now, it feels like they're thinking about it, and they're thinking good and hard and long about it, and they're extremely fearful. But anyhow, there is a message that is coming, okay? This person is curious. Uh, they are looking for love, even though they may, they may uh, be fearful of love, okay? This person is probably very fearful of love. Um, and they're probably being unreasonable with themselves. This is somebody that is ungrounded, right? They're not grounded. Um, 
They're not being realistic. They're not being practical. They're trying to protect themselves. You know, they may be trying to protect themselves from uh, being used. It feels like there's some sort of financial thing here. You know, I don't want to be used. Um, anyway, this person is... Uh, it feels like they're getting ready. They're getting ready to open up their heart. Um, when I mean, they're having difficulty communicating right now. I feel like they are having difficulty communicating. It's not a woman. I know i got to keep saying that because people, all these women want to think it's them. <laughs> i gotta, I got to beg that man for attention, so I'm going to make it mine. No, this is not that. This is a man that wants a stable, solid woman that is not needy. Ah, the moon card reverse. Now this is seeing the truth, seeing things clearly. Truths being revealed. This is a release of fear. So we do have a man here that has, is very fearful of working together with somebody that you know could potentially change their position or their status or something like that. And I feel like they're having a hard time restraining themselves, but they're very curious and they see the truth they see the truth, and I feel like this person is going to be releasing the fear. And they're going to be following their heart. Down an uncertain path. Because that is what they are being guided to do. So, a decision is in some... We have a man <laughs> that is in the process of making a decision right now. He may have been confused or very fearful or something like that. But now I feel like uh, he's going to be making an emotional decision based on what his heart wants. Good luck. 